In 1977, two trailblazers embarked on an extraordinary journey, marking one of the most epic feats of exploration. Their mission? To unravel the cosmic mysteries surrounding the solar system and our position within it. These pioneers not only provided us with some of the initial and finest imagery of the outer planets, but also continued to relay remarkable new information about our universe from interstellar space, 47 years and 24 billion kilometers into their incredible voyage. The Voyager 1 and 2 probes transcend mere instruments and circuitry. They stand as a testament to humanity at its peak, curious, daring, ambitious, and resilient. Voyager not only captured stunning images of our gas giants and their moons, but also gripped the hearts and minds of generations back home on Earth. When I look back, I realize how little we actually knew about the solar system before Voyager, says Voyager mission project scientist Edward Stone. We discovered things we didn't know were there to be discovered, time after time. On August 20, 1977, NASA initiated the launch of the Voyager 2 space probe from Cape Canaveral, Florida, while its partner, Voyager 1, followed suit two weeks later on September 5, 1977. Despite both probes being bound for Jupiter, Voyager 1 embarked on a shorter, faster trajectory, justifying its later takeoff. It successfully overtook Voyager 2 on December 15, 1977, and emerged from the asteroid belt ahead of its companion. This dynamic duo strategically leveraged a rare planetary alignment occurring once every 176 years, aligning Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. NASA seized this unique opportunity, ensuring one mission could explore all four gas giants. Following negotiations with the U.S. Congress, overcoming budgetary hurdles, and a decade of dedicated effort, the Voyager probes finally graced the launch pad, ushering in a new era of space exploration. The groundbreaking images promised by Voyager, often described as a dazzling parade of pictures, were truly revolutionary at the time. But as the saying goes, seeing is believing. Let's delve into the journey, and you'll witness the groundbreaking significance for yourself. 13 days post-launch, Voyager 1 transmitted the initial of its tens of thousands of photos to Earth, setting the stage for a continuous stream over the next five years. Captured from a distance of 11.6 million kilometers, this image holds sentimental value, reminiscent of the Earthrise photo by Apollo 11 just eight years earlier. It presents our blue planet and its moon in the backdrop, a hauntingly beautiful testament to Voyager's extensive journey and observations. As we embark on this narrative, the realization of the probe's remarkable travels adds to the photo's allure. Our journey continues, and nearly two years later, Voyager 1 approached its inaugural target, Jupiter, an impressive feat considering its distance of 714 million kilometers. Voyager 1 achieved this milestone on March 5, 1979, traveling at an impressive speed of 17 kilometers per second, surpassing Voyager 2 by 2 kilometers per second. Despite Voyager 2's earlier departure from Earth, it reached Jupiter four months later on July 9, 1979. This variance is attributed to the trajectory Voyager 1 adopted, enabling it to gain additional speed relative to the Sun. Voyager 1, though not the pioneer in encountering Jupiter, credit for that goes to Pioneer 10 in 1972, marked a turning point in public fascination. While the Pioneer mission offered significant scientific insights, it lacked the captivating impact Voyager achieved thanks to its breathtaking imagery. The portrayal of Jupiter's magnificence, such as the one here, challenges belief, almost appearing as art, or perhaps an AI-generated creation. Upon closer inspection, two of Jupiter's moons come into view. Io, the red one on the left, 
and Europa, the beige one on the right. More details about them will unfold later. Voyager 1 generously documented its approach to the gas giant, capturing images at 10-hour intervals, equivalent to one Jupiter day. This unique approach allowed the creation of a time-lapse movie comprising 66 photos, showcasing Voyager 1's journey towards Jupiter from January 6 to February 3, 1979, covering a span of 27 million kilometers. The resulting footage is a blend of incredibility and perhaps a touch of awe. But let's delve deeper and unravel the hidden surprises this colossal planet holds. Jupiter's atmosphere left scientists astounded with its unexpected features. While they anticipated typical east-west and west-east winds in distinct atmospheric zones, the sheer amount of turbulence, plumes, and rotational dynamics vividly portrayed in this image took them by surprise. The dynamic nature of Jupiter's atmosphere becomes immediately apparent. The Great Red Spot, Jupiter's most iconic feature, had been suspected to be a counterclockwise rotating formation, a notion validated and enriched by Voyager data. Furthermore, the data revealed a surprising prevalence of similar phenomena across various atmospheric regions. Illustrated below the Great Red Spot is a white spot, representing just one of the unexpected storms dotting Jupiter's atmosphere. Voyager's findings unveiled a multitude of these storms, a revelation previously unknown to scientists. While Saturn is commonly associated with rings, pioneer data had hinted at the possibility of Jupiter having its own. Voyager not only confirmed the existence of four Jovian rings, but also captured the first images of them. This particular picture, taken as Voyager departed from Jupiter, elegantly showcases the rings, depicted as a radiant orange line extending from the planet. Before departing from Jupiter on our journey, as promised, let's revisit its intriguing moons, Io and Europa. One of the most remarkable revelations from the Voyager expedition was the unexpected discovery of volcanic activity on Jupiter's closest moon, Io prior to Voyager's mission, scientists had anticipated large impact craters similar to those on our own moon. However, the circular markings found on Io's surface didn't align with typical crater formations. The dark spots visible in the photo pointed to volcanic hotspots and lava lakes, fundamentally altering our understanding. This particular image captures a lava flow from less than one million years ago, a surprisingly recent event. Io has since become recognized as the most geologically active site in the solar system. Imagining the astonishment of witnessing Io mid-eruption during the time these photos were taken is quite compelling. Initially, expecting a moon akin to our own, Voyager stumbled upon a vastly different reality. The vivid blue explosions on Io's surface propel material and gas up to 100 kilometers into space. These volcanoes exhibit remarkable activity, erupting relentlessly every few hours and treating Voyager to a series of awe-inspiring photographs. Moving on to Europa, Jupiter's moon following Io, the contrast is striking. Voyager 1 unveiled Europa as an icy world, adorned with intriguing scratch markings across its surface. Scientists initially speculated that these markings represented some form of ice fracture patterns. Moreover, Voyager data hinted at the possibility of a hidden, swirling ocean beneath Europa's icy exterior, setting the stage for further exploration. By the time Voyager 1 completed its mission in 1979, the number of known moons orbiting Jupiter had increased from 13 to 16, with the discovery of three new satellites, Thebe, Metis, and Adrasteia. Although pictures of these moons from 1979 are unavailable, subsequent imaging efforts have provided glimpses of their features. Transitioning to the next destination on Voyager's grand tour, Saturn took center stage. After 21 months of travel, Voyager 1 arrived at the ringed planet in November 1980, 
closely followed by its companion nine months later in August 1981. Saturn, synonymous with its majestic rings, had been previously thought to have only five major rings. However, Voyager 1's close flyby shattered this perception, revealing that each ring was composed of hundreds of thin ringlets. The probe also identified a new ring, the G ring, and offered crucial details about the F ring, initially discovered by Pioneer 11 in 1979. Voyager 1's detailed observations showcase the F-ring's kinked and multi-stranded nature, enhancing our understanding of Saturn's intricate ring system. Voyager 1's exploration of Saturn brought about significant revelations, including the identification of two shepherd moons, Prometheus and Pandora, nestled within the F-ring. This breakthrough confirmed scientists' hypotheses regarding the presence of shepherd moons orchestrating order within narrow rings by corralling ring material. The discovery marked a pivotal moment, supporting the understanding of celestial dynamics. Furthermore, Voyager 1 captured enigmatic features within Saturn's B-rings, ghostly grayish dots resembling blurred spokes in a wheel. Although subtle in the provided photo, these features garnered attention in the scientific community. Their faint appearance sparked curiosity and stirred debate because, until 1980, the prevailing belief attributed Saturn's ring solely to gravitational forces. However, the existence of these spokes challenged this conventional theory, introducing a new dimension to the understanding of Saturn's intricate ring system. To enhance visibility, a subsequent image with higher contrast vividly displays these intriguing spokes. The mysterious spokes in Saturn's rings remain an enigma, with the prevailing theory attributing their presence to electrostatic repulsion, causing small dust particles to separate from the ring's main surface. Despite their elusive nature, these spokes, captured by Voyager 1, introduced a new dimension to our understanding of Saturn's intricate ring system. However, Voyager's data revealed a sobering reality for Saturn's rings. They are gradually being drawn into the planet by gravity, transforming into a cosmic rain of ice particles. According to NASA, this natural process might lead to the disappearance of Saturn's rings in approximately 300 million years. The wealth of questions raised by Voyager's exploration of Saturn prompted a dedicated mission in the 1990s to further study the ringed planet. The Cassini probe, launched in 1997, orbited Saturn for 13 years, providing invaluable insights into the planet's rings and moons. Although we delve into some of Cassini's findings in a separate video, Voyager's contributions to Saturn's moon knowledge are noteworthy. Voyager expanded our knowledge of Saturn's moons, revealing three additional moons, bringing the total to 17 at that time. Focusing on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, Voyager confirmed the thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere observed by Pioneer 11, marking the first and only encounter with such an atmosphere beyond Earth. Enceladus, another moon of Saturn, exhibited exceptional characteristics. In a captivating photo, with Saturn in the foreground, Enceladus is faintly visible in the distance, revealing its eruptive activity, a surprising and intriguing aspect uncovered by Voyager's exploration. Enceladus, Saturn's moon, shoots 300 kilograms of water vapor 10,000 kilometers above its surface, 20 times its diameter. Eruptions leave a donut-shaped cloud, contributing to one of Saturn's icy rings. Cassini confirmed this Voyager data, unraveling Enceladus's unique geology of old and new terrains, challenging previous assumptions. Voyager 1 bid adieu to Saturn, adjusting its trajectory towards interstellar space after a flyby of Titan and Saturn's rings. Meanwhile, Voyager 2, Slingshot Ting around Saturn, set course for Uranus and Neptune, marking the first ever flybys of these planets in human history.
Thanks for watching and see you next time. All the best.